the, um, Mr. Justin Harvey. Good afternoon, commissioners. You just state your name for me and your... My name is Justin Harvey. I live at 103 South Osceola, Orlando, 32801. Good afternoon, commissioners. Today I'd like to bring to your attention a potential fraud on an enormous scale happening in your county. There's now clear evidence of NASA using numerous methods to grossly mislead the public about astronauts being on the International Space Station. During interior ISS scenes from NASA's own live feed, the use of wires, harnesses, green screens, and virtual reality have been detected to achieve the appearance of a weightless environment. Examples of this include astronauts fading in and out of the screen, green screen glitches, grabbing objects that aren't really there, pulling on invisible wires, getting tangled in their harnesses, and even astronauts appearing out of thin air. This begs the obvious question. If they're really up there, why are they using Hollywood techniques to fake the footage? Now, unfortunately, I can't show you these clips in here today, but I will be sending them to you. Moving on, during outside, or outside the International Space Station, during spacewalks, air bubbles have been recorded on numerous occasions. How is it possible for air bubbles to be present in the vacuum of space? I once questioned astronaut Scott Kelly about this phenomenon. His body language and answers only created more questions. In 2013, astronaut Luca Parmitano nearly drowned during a spacewalk when his helmet filled with water. This happened again just last year. Air bubbles, helmets filling with water, and drowning. Are they in space or are they underwater? Now what's really interesting is that they train for spacewalks in an underwater pool with a complete ISS replica. Now surely they aren't filming these spacewalks in an underwater pool and then editing them to appear if they're in space. Because that sure would be something, wouldn't it? I'm calling on the Brevard County Commissioners to open a full investigation into NASA's fraudulent practices and use of taxpayer dollars. It costs NASA $3 billion per year to operate the ISS, and if they don't have a darn good explanation as to why they're faking these videos, I and the public would like a darn good explanation as to where our tax money is going. And if they are indeed faking the funk, it is our duty to expose and eliminate this fraudulent and astronomically wasteful ISS program. And look, I know what you're all thinking. The NASA is part of the federal government, and you're just county commissioners. Even if what I'm saying is true, what can you do? But let me remind you, not only is this happening in your county, as public officials, you have the platform and the ability to make a statement or hold a press conference, alerting the public, state, and federal authorities to investigate further. You have the power to start the conversation. Video evidence of everything I described today will be emailed to you all, and I truly hope we can get to the bottom of this. I look forward to the day that $3 billion annual budget is put towards our veterans, our homeless, maybe some of that mental health stuff the young lady just spoke about, and the revitalization of Brevard County. Thank you for your time today, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, sir. Robert Burns. <clears throat> 